Good evening. I'd like to welcome y'all back to my channel. This is El Rabbit tonight. We're we're making uh, steak ranchero, or steak ranchero. This is the old cattle drive uh, on the trail dinner they used to make back in the days. It's a one pot dish. We'll be putting uh, potatoes. Meat, we got tomatoes, cloves of garlic, peppers, a medium sized onion, and a bunch of cilantro, but we're probably going to use only about half of that bunch. But I will get a little bit more specific. Either way, you're going to get the idea when we're done with this. So y'all be looking out tonight on the menu, steak ranchero, to go with my wife's homemade tortillas. Homemade flour tortillas, and we'll be right back. Welcome, welcome back to the show. Um, we're fixing to get down with some steak with ranchero. Got to put a little bit of oil down there in the bottom of that pan, and if you can see, we're going to cook this as an inside dish, but we're doing this on on the grill outside on my charm glow give you all an example of what I'll be doing out here on this thing sometimes. Uh, we're going to make, this is chuck steak right here. Come down here. And uh, we're going to be frying that. We're going to be using all these ingredients. We've got a pot of beans we made earlier on this thing. And uh, we're going to start searing these, this meat. That's the first thing you gotta do is sear it. I need to go, I need to get salt and pepper. Say, uh, tell, take this in, give me uh, a wooden spoon and uh, salt and pepper, please. While that's going right there, I want to turn my attention to this. We're gonna make a uh, a little scratch sauce. So you can see, I got my lighting right here. And I'm gonna be using um, one, two, three, four, five, five cloves of garlic going in there. I will be using. Um, A little piece of bunch of cilantro like that much. I've already rinsed this earlier, so it's all good. And uh, if you give me a second. Put some of this, some liquid in there to help fire that up. Oh, wait, am I gonna plug that in? So this is gonna go in, not right, right now, because we're just making this kind of like a salsa. That'll be the base. And we're just going to let this go for a little while, but we'll be right back after we get all this seared up. And uh, layer as you go along, so salt and pepper. Like always. I'm going to show you all how I get down on this outdoor grill. Anyways, rock and roll this sucker. We'll, it'll, we'll be back here in a minute. It'll probably take about 10 minutes to sear all this meat. Anyways, we'll be back. Okay, you guys probably wondering why I'm cooking this out here on my charm glow. This is, again, once again, this is steak ranchero. We will be using all this. We've made a salsa that's a base. 
that will be going in this pot. This meat is searing as you see. But this is a, uh, a one pot dish. And you ought to smell it. It smells delicious out here. And there will be potatoes going into this dish also. This is wonderful. And we have uh, pinto beans that we made on here earlier also. They're already cooling down, but I'll, I'm going to light the inside of uh, my grill area in here in a minute and rewarm those up before it's all said and done. But this is, this is a braising... You have to braise this steak. Now you want it to become tender as possible. And as you can see, it's already getting nice and seared on all edges. I'm not paying that much attention to it to where I'm doing every single side. Just kind of eyeball it, you know, but it's looking good. And I'm going to let it go for a few more minutes and uh, I'll be adding this liquid to it, this uh, salsa to it. Just right here, and I will. And if I need any extra sauce, I mean uh, liquid or flood, I'll be using beef broth. Back in the day, they would never use uh, beef broth; they would be using uh, water or whatnot. And uh, it's dark out here. It's not dark, but it's getting dark, so I got a, a lamp set up. Anyways, y'all bear with me. I think this is good enough. I'm going to go ahead and put in my uh, my salsa mixture, which is what it looks like right here. Which it's a combination of uh, tomatoes, onions, garlic, and two jalapeno peppers. And cilantro. Once we get this going here for a while, we're going to let it braise. And then about probably 30 minutes or, no, not that long, probably about 20 minutes before it's all said and done, we'll be putting in more cilantro, onions, and fresh cut tomatoes. And I have some potatoes chopped up. They're rough chopped. They're still in the house. Anyways, we'll be right back. Thank you. While you guys were gone, I forgot, we had uh, some cumin, some Mexican oregano, some salt and pepper that we're adding to it. We've already added to that right there, if you can see. And uh, it's looking good. I've, add, I've also added the, the can of beef broth, or that little carton of beef broth to it. And... Uh, We'll be back shortly. Back, I'm just chilling, watching fire, looking at everything's going on. Got my kid face doing me a favor right here. Please open this for me. Fix to drink me a cold one. It's Friday night. The old lady done went to work. She made some tortillas. And I thought we just drink me a lone star tonight. Don't knock, don't knock, uh, Lone Star beer, man. It's pretty good beer when it's ice cold. I got some more in the refrigerator, in the freezer. Anyways, we'll be back here in a minute. You know what? Hold on just a second. We'll be right back. Yep. Okay, everybody, we're back. This has been brazen out of here with the, the initial salsa that we put in. We put some cilantro in, some spices. We put cumin, Mexican oregano, some onions. And this meat, it's starting to get tender. It's not all the way tender yet, but it's, it will be when we're done. 
Uh, what we're going to do is um, we're taking the rest of our onions, peppers, there's your onions, put them in, and there's probably five tomatoes there, and then we have uh, cilantro and the rest of the jalapeno peppers. We're going to mix it in there, get it going. And then we're going to let it go. A jigger rig dog. Some uh, pizza pans, which I put foil on it. And that's what we're going to stick in there to brain. I have um, about two and a half pounds or two pounds of potatoes, rough chopped. And I'm going to probably add another two cups of water maybe because uh, it is it's starting to dehydrate but you know what I'm going to let go like that so it'll break real nicely you know, no I think I'm going to add some I'm going to have to add some I'll be right back just one hundred ninety nine You just want to be level with the your food. We're gonna get one final little taste. Pretty good for salt. A little bit more pepper. And I will put a little bit more fat and salt to me. And then we're going to let this sit probably 30 minutes and breathe. Let me give it a quick scope. In the meantime, we'll go ahead and go in and rewarm up my pintos. We're going to set this in here like this. Let that run. We're going to let it run for about at least 30 minutes. When it starts puffing and going, it'll be uh, good to go. And I'm going to show you all. We'll play it up after this. But we're at a high heat right here. Y'all come up back. We never brought it inside the house. Few beers later, and voila! Uh, this is what we look like. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. How's it looking? Good. Um, got some pet toes over here. That that's whatever. You know, ain't no biggie. I'm fixing, fixing the plate. Fix myself a plate. And uh, this has been sitting in there, braised for a while. And there's steak. This is steak. Or chuck steak or whatever you call it. Put a little sauce on it. And uh, let's bring it over here. We'll see if it braised good. Oh, yeah. There it is right there. Then you got your peppers, got your potatoes, tomatoes, cilantro, you can see that on there. If you want, you can garnish with some cilantro. Matter of fact, let me tear a little spray off of there. Maybe. 
make it look half fast professional because you know I'm just a rookie. But uh, basically, anyways, uh, steak's looking good. Back in the day in old Mexico, the ranch hands or the cattle drivers, this is a one pot meal, like I said. And uh, they put everything in there veggies, uh, jalapenos, meat. Oh, I forgot. My old lady made some tortillas earlier. And that's what we're going to. Look at that. Them are homemade tortillas, y'all. Y'all have to watch a video on that, how she made those. But I'm going to try that if y'all don't mind. Put a little salt on it. A little pepper. Always layer. Layer flavors or seasoned in layers. Man, y'all have to try this out. This is this is just delicious. But this is a real Mexican dish. It's steak ranchero, rancho steak, ranchero steak. Google it, or go to your local um, Mexican restaurant. They might have it on the menu if you're lucky. Drink me a Long Star beer with it. This is, I think I've, out of all my film, all, out of all my movies I've made so far, this is going to be the one that I, li I like the best. This is one of my favorites right here. I can't stress it enough. Y'all look for it. Look, for, look, uh, not look for it, but try to make you this version of it. And you can trick it out any way you want, you know. I'm doing that. I'm drunk. <laughs> I'm not drunk. I'm feeling pretty good, though. I'm telling you, and I only, from the time I covered it to the time I uncovered it, 20, 25 minutes. And that's what you get, folks. Here's a, here's a here's a potato. Y'all saw me put it in there live. It's done. It's ready to go. Jalapeno peppers, tomatoes, onions. Hell, the onions and the tomatoes done disintegrated there. Anyways, y'all give it a shot. I'm gonna eat. I appreciate y'all stopping by. And man, if you don't do anything on my channel, just do this. Do this one thing. Cause this is the shit. Y'all, I promise you, you will love this. Uh, Y'all comment, rate me, subscribe, give me a thumbs up if you like it. Or try it out first and then, you know, if you like it then, 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 then give me a thumbs up. Anyways, I'm fixing to eat. Kids are fixing to eat. And there's beer to be drunk. It's Friday night. We'll see y'all soon enough. I appreciate y'all stopping by. Thank you.